It's that time of year again where high school students across Montana saddle up and strut their stuff. And for the first time here in Great Falls, they will be hosting the High School Rodeo State Finals. It's Rodeo Week. After six years of the high school state rodeo finals being hosted in Bakers, Montana, Great Falls is getting its shot. Opportunity of, of having it, the finals here in the center of the state and to basically get more participation. I know that there's a lot of high school kids that it's hard for them to travel clear across Montana, especially with diesel prices the way they are now. So um, it's just a really good location to have it and I just felt like I could jump in and help out. So. Mother son power team Coulter and Laurel Heckman have taken on hosting this event. My late husband and I did host the junior high state rodeo finals um, several years and so we have a taste of it. It's not quite as big of a production as the high school one is but my son is very good at this. We put on three qualifying rodeos every year here in Great Falls at the Expo Park the end of March and the first two weekends in April and we've been doing that for many years so we do have a pretty good idea of what we're doing. And Coulter who is now following in his father's footsteps has had the drive of his father mixed with the passion from his rodeo days. Definitely dad was always all, all about having youth rodeos and stuff. He, he loved the sport. He loved having kids doing it and uh, just to be able to continue this, you know, continue that. I know he'd appreciate that. So. Rodeo is much more than just a sport. In rodeo in general in Montana, there's a lot of family names that people recognize and you'll see kids with them same last names that are competing in this building over here for the circuit finals. It's a lifestyle. It was probably one of the rarer sports that everybody has each other's back. You know, the camaraderie is amazing. In Great Falls, Lindsay Singer, MTN News.